Zod. Fresh. That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton has fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. But well, haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? <laughs> Garrett, you survived. <laughs> your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh, <laughs> 
I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a dis... Despicable act of treachery and <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The 
the ironwood grove. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Hmm, you seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. Maestro Tengren, look. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He... said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response! It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. 
Garrett, do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you... The boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, we have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. 
iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Wait! Be safe. 